school year wraps up, CCISD librarians are faced with the task of getting their books back. It's a tough assignment for what has been a tough year. As Jeremiah Marshall explains, not getting the books back to their shelves can affect the district financially. Since the COVID-19 pandemic has made its presence known, many CCISD students have not been back to their campus at all, which means for many students, their library books are still with them, and librarians say they need these books back. And we're trying to get them back. Normally our students come in and we chase them down in the hallway, we talk to them individually, what's going on, where's your books, but we don't have that chance now. Nancy Maldonado has been a librarian for 24 years. Currently, Maldonado is a librarian at Hamlin Middle School. Yet because of the coronavirus pandemic, this year is the most challenging time for her to get her books back. Books at CCIC are estimated around $20 each, and at Hamlin Middle School, they're missing over 400 books. And if these books don't return, that can cost the district thousands of dollars. I know that this problem exists throughout the district where all of the librarians are trying to get our books back um, from elementary to high school and it's going to be a financial impact on all of our libraries across the district so I'm willing to accept any library book and it's easy enough for me to process it in and send it to the proper school. Librarians across the district realized that during this pandemic, returning library books is not exactly on the top of the priority list of things to do. However, the school district says they are willing to work together, even if your child attended a different school within the district. Once they leave our district, it's hard to get our books back. But again, <laughs> you know, just drop it off at any CCISD school and we'll help each other out. And since students in middle school can't drive to campus, they encourage parents to even neighbors to drop off students books at their shopping cart located outside in the parking lot of the campus. And coming up later this week at Hamlin Middle School, they will be having a going away drive in for their students and faculty members say this will be a great event for parents to drop off their child's book. For more details about this event, make sure you head to our website at ChrisTV.com. Reporting Jeremiah Marshall, Chris, Six Sunrise.